I've been working on my own personal hiking trails slash logging trails in our forest. We have 15 acres of hardwood forest and I have like a meandering trail done up. I think I'm at 438 feet or something like that the last time I measured. So it's gonna take me years and years to do all my trailing systems and whatnot. But what I do is I keep tabs on the trees that need to go because I'm not in the business of making my forest smaller. But let me just show you what I'm talking about. So this is a standing tree and it's it's dead. It's got nothing up top, you see? There's no canopy. With this tree dead, you can see there's a big patch of sunlight that's coming in through the top. And this is what you want in a forest because it's gonna help all of these other trees that are growing. You see all these little tiny trees? These are all maple trees actually. And they're all trying to grow and reach that sunlight. But if the canopy's too thick, it can't do that. So this tree is a little sketchy. You can see the bark is coming off. It's not in good shape. I don't even know if it'll be good firewood. It's kind of leaning that direction. You know, when you start cutting these things, it can be really sketchy. You have to really be careful. It's somewhat leaning this way to start. But as you look up there, I can see it's way leaning that way. So once you start cutting it, you know, sometimes it's difficult to judge where exactly it's going to timber. <laughs> and if I drop it over there, it's going to actually block my trail, which means I'm going to have to buck it up even before I get my tractor out of here. But this one's got to go up there. There might not even be any firewood left, but it's much better to drop it even before it gets further rotten, you know. There's another one right here. It's still alive. I can see that there's plenty of uh, branches with leaves up at the top there at the canopy. But if you look at the forest view, you can see that this tree is probably going to fall down by itself anyways, eventually. Because look at the angle that it's on. It's just really ridiculous. It's There's so much force that's pulling the tree over in that direction. So that tree can go as well. Look at it. Look at the angle that it's on. <laughs> it wouldn't even be any good to save the trunk as a future log for my sawmill because if you understand sawmilling, the wood is under pressure and there's going to be so much pressure on this wood. By the time you cut a board, it'll just boink, it'll bend up because it's not straight. <laughs> Serious business. Let's get to work. I'm using my steel MS-362 right now. It's good enough for this tree. I don't need the super powerful 500i. Um, so this one's just going to do the job just fine. See, this is a little bit of a problem when you're dealing with a forest that's overgrown and hasn't been managed for decades and because there's too much old growth. Now, this tree was leaning. It was easy to cut down, but it got hung up in the trees over there. So it's a big problem for me. 
I managed to get half of it pulled down and I got that little six foot stump cut up into 16 inch pieces for the firewood. But now I gotta figure that out. I'll probably try to swing my tractor around to this path right here and put a chain on it and try to pull it and see if I can get it to drop. Cause it's dangerous when it's like this, you know? Like I'm not looking to kill myself alone in the Canadian wilderness. I have my wood chipper on the back of the tractor. I should be using the back, but I'm going to try to put a little bit of pressure on the front bucket. I'm not going to put too much pressure though, because I don't want to damage the arms. But if she doesn't go and she doesn't budge, I'm just going to give up and do it another day. I've been working at this thing for hours. I'm going to abandon this because I'm going to lose daylight. <laughs> It's hung up in the trees. I'm going to have to spend a bit more time on it later. This is the only day I have to film a video, so that's just the way life goes.
So some of that dead tree looks like this. See how it's all pitted and spalted and fungi filled and a little bit rotten and it's very light. I would not be selling this for firewood because I'm just gonna scare away my customers. This is super light. But I do keep this for the guests as a freebie. They're not to bring this inside the house, but if they're having a fire at the fire pit, this is okay to burn outside. But you can clearly see there's a whole bunch of pieces. Once I split it, there's like woodworms inside. And you definitely don't want anybody to be buying firewood, bringing it in their house, and there's worms inside. You want it to be completely, you know, critter free. Some of that other tree that got hung up, it looks like this. Really nice, really solid. It's got some weight to it and it's gonna take some time to dry too because it's like wet. But uh, this is good firewood. Now I did get some good pieces out of that dead tree. You know, it's not all bad, but I just have to do a little quality control you know, I have a little pile going on down here and that's where I put all the crap that I don't want to sell. It may be a little bit early to do firewood because it's still a little bit hot. But you know, sometimes I just need a break from doing all the regular chores and summer type duties, you know, building and stuff like that. And sometimes I just like to relax in the outdoors and I find preparing firewood and working in the forest and bringing myself closer to mother nature I find it very relaxing and I enjoy it so this is almost like a day off for me it's really about that time of year that I gotta really get moving on this firewood if I'm gonna sell any I'm hoping to sell a lot more than I did last year and that's simply because I'm gonna prepare more and I gotta make sure I have enough firewood ready to go before the snow comes. Because once the snow comes, I won't be able to get up into the forest. So I got that stall almost done. I had to start this stall to hold up that stall. <laughs> I got this stall full of junk. Well, not junk, but crap. <laughs> Stuff. <laughs> I got this one almost full. And I got this one full. And this one full. And I think I'm doing pretty good amongst all the other stuff that I do on the farm. And I also still have a whole bunch of these. I just put an order in for a whole bunch more because this is what I use to bundle the firewood. And I mean, it would be nice to have a lot of free time to get bundling now so that it's ready to go for winter. But the truth is I'm just too busy. And I think I'm just gonna bundle it as I need it. You know, so that's just the way it's got to go. If I got some time, then fine. But if not, everything else on the farm takes precedent. You know, that's priority. But it's always a fun time hanging out with you guys. And we'll see you on the next episode, okay? Thanks for watching.